Welcome, and let me show you about this eight page template. If you just purchased it, yay, thank you. If you're interested in purchasing it, just go to Teachers Pay Teachers. I'm gonna have the link for you and look for Pie Crustable. You will get a four page booklet, eight page booklet, 12 page booklet, yay, all together. And they're gonna look very similar. So let's get started. This is the eight page booklet template. And on the first page, you're gonna get this. It's just a review of what we're gonna talk about today. But you're gonna notice that the first page has eight and one because this is the back or the last page. This is the first or the front page. We have the second, seventh page, six, three, four, five. Because remember, when you fold it, the pages are kind of weird. We want to make sure that our pages are in order. And that's one of the hard things about making a booklet, trying to figure out which page is next and where do I put what I, I what. That's why I made this eight page booklet to help you. So I'm going to show you a couple things. First thing is you're going to notice that I have this line down the middle and you can get rid of it. And I'm going to show you that in a second, but I like it because I don't want to type anything over here and have it bleed over because I don't want stuff in page two and page seven. It's not going to work too good. So let me show you how to get rid of it or make it less, especially when I print them, I make this lighter. I like keeping it there because it's helpful for students when they're going to fold it. Let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to go into view master slide. Now this is actually our first slide, so we need to go to the master on the very first one. And I'm going to click on this line. And I'm going to actually make it very light. And you can even, if you go down to weight, make it super small. And let me show you what it's going to look like. So here's the first page, and you can see it's still there, but it's very light. And once again, it's really handy for my students to fold on the line. So here we are back at our master slot. I'm going to click and make it a little larger. So another thing you can do is change the colors, the fonts, anything that you want to do in PowerPoint, you can do it. And that's pretty nice. One thing I do want to point out is that my eight page booklet is 10 by seven and a half but you can change it to 11 by eight and a half. It's really up to you. I do that because I'm worried about bleeding and I'm worried about um, the different printers I use that I don't want it to look silly or miss something. But once again, just go in here and you can edit it yourself. Uh, master layout is you can insert a picture and when you insert the picture, you notice it's gonna be on every page. So if you have a logo or you want to put your copyright message on every page, this is where you want to do it. But you're going to notice that it's only going to be on one of the two pages. So if you want it on both pages, you need to go to the master slide again, master layout, and you'll see that's where it is. But I'm not going to do that. Let's go to our first page. You're going to notice that I have back and front written out for you. This is actually the back and this is going to be the front. I know it just seems so opposite of what we read, but that's how a booklet works. I actually use it for me. I delete it. You can also delete numbers if you want, or you can change them. Sorry about the chickens. They're going crazy right now. I can change them. I can move them to anywhere I want, okay? So that when I look at my PowerPoint, I'm gonna see they now have changed. So it's up to you, what you wanna do. Whatever you do to this slide, it's not going to change the next slide. So you need to do that manually, but that's okay. It only takes a couple clicks to do whatever you want. It's pretty cool. So now I'm gonna get out of my master slide. So I'm gonna go here and close. And here's my first page. Now I did mention this line. So if I was gonna print this as a booklet, this would be bleeding over. So I really need to make sure that nothing is way over this line because I don't want it on page eight and page one. Well, maybe the front and back would be okay, but if there's those page two and seven, it's just not gonna work. Another thing I wanna point out is you don't wanna get too close to this line. On the front cover, it's probably okay, but remember this is where you're gonna be folding it. And if you put a lot of words over here, they're gonna be hard to see. 
especially if you're stapling it and you don't have a special stapler where you can staple down the middle. You're going to be stapling here, right? So you want to be careful for that also. You're going to go into File and Print. Now I'm using PowerPoint 2010, so yours might be a little different, but this is what you do. You're going to print it on both sides. Now you don't want to flip the pages because then it'll one side will be one way and the other side will be flipped the other way. We don't want to do that. We want to print on both sides. And choose color um, if you have color. Once again, we have black and white, so I have to use grayscale. And just print and print, fold, staple. That's it. That's what makes this booklet super handy and super easy for everybody. I hope you liked it. So some of you are watching this on YouTube and you're probably wondering, well, hey, where do I go to get this template? You're going to go to Teachers. Hey, Teachers. It's a website. You're going to look for Pie Crustable. Okay. And you're going to find a four page, eight page, 12 page, and a 16 page template for a booklet. If you get too much larger, your booklet is just not going to fit right. But there are so many things you can do with this. Another thing that you can do, and I've seen my nieces with this, is make your own reading books that they can take home. Uh, I created Amazing Mazes that's in booklet form. Perfect for your students. Print it, fold it, staple it, and they can take it home. They could do it in class. Oh, did I mention that when you download this, it's yours to keep and you can make products or anything you want to sell. It's super cool. I know it's crazy. But it's for you to keep, make your own product, sell it, make some money. Yay! Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, go to Teachers Pay Teachers. Look for Pie Crustable. Thank you.